Hey guys, it's Car Guy 11 I have an epic video for you guys today. Yes, I have two Supras behind me, an MK4 and of course my MK5. We're going to do a Comparo today. Uh, the owner is going to drive my MK5 and I'm going to drive the MK4. So stay tuned for two videos. It's going to be a fun one. All right, guys, this is part two of the Generations of Supra videos. We just got out of the MK4. And now uh, Alex is going to drive my MK5. So I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, you big know. generational difference, T 25 years. So pretty cool push yeah. button. Start. Yeah, I'm saying, like, gosh, <laughs> this is so brand new. I'm not used to it. Even in the FRS, I dailyed an FRS for a while. Very analog car. <laughs> but immediately I'm just taken by how modern this is, how tight the fit and finish is. I will say this BMW knows how to make like a good feeling car. The digital gauge, like the cluster itself is beautiful. This, it, it feels great. Let's give this a shot. No. So it does have two suspension modes, sport and normal. We are in sport. Oh my gosh, it's got the heads up display. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the I wish the heads up display showed more. It just shows the speed and speed limit and like radio stations and stuff. But I wish it showed gear and RPM. It's a really smooth shift. Yes, this. This is honestly the highlight of the vehicle is the automatic. Even though I wish it was a manual, the auto is excellent. It's the best auto I've ever driven. So, and in sport mode, it, it it'll challenge shift for you and braking. And the suspension is damped really nicely. This feels much better in your car than it does mine. This rough <laughs> road right here. It's really nicely tuned. Yeah, got a little bit of spin there. Yeah, I felt that. Oh, really nice crackle. Some nice back. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. I thought yours might crackle and pop a little bit. But... I think you have to shift it at red line. Okay. And be aggressive about it. Right. Yeah, and I'll get the tires warmed up before we do much else. I know these can be a little tail happy if, if that's... Yep, okay. for sure. Power delivery is nice and smooth. There's a lot of torque. Yeah, you're almost feeling like a twin turbo because the, the turbo is so linear here. It, it kicks in at below 2,000 RPM. You're okay. already feeling it. Modern technology. They yeah. don't need sequentials anymore. They're right. <laughs> oh, it's tight. It's yeah. nice. I love these seats. Yeah, they hold you in. The bolt, there's bolsters that blow up too on the sides. Yeah, the chassis feels really stiff. Yes, and I like the solid roof, uh, oh, yeah. how it adds that stiffness. I'll say, yeah, no, that, that, I think BMW does a really good job with that too. You know, it's, and, and I think Toyota designed, did, who does it? The body, uh, the top, you know, all the styling and uh, the coupe body is, uh, Toyota. Okay, got it, got it. Ooh. Even on rough roads, this thing doesn't doesn't sweat. Like it just it feels it feels tight. It takes all of those bumps really well. Love the suspension on this. Yeah, again, this is the firm suspension. Yeah, this feels this feels perfect. I, I will say, I think the older Supra has better visibility. I think oh, this, yeah. this windshield is is quite narrow. Yes, it's it's actually terrible visibility in here, and then on the side it comes yeah. down real low. It's it's not as bad as a Camaro, but but it's close. I, I would like I would like a little more <laughs> forward visibility. For sure. But you know, I I feel like that's just something you get used to. You oh yeah, you to. definitely get used to yeah. it. <laughs> yep. I don't know if the audience hears the downshift like that, but but there's a lot of noise back there when you do that. <laughs> Can hear a little bit of the turbo uh -huh. spool. Sure. There's, I did, there's a wine. I did a little modification to the airbox uh, to take some of the baffles away and stuff. 
Now, do you get thumbs up from other car people in this? Like, what's what's the the vibe that this car brings out in others? Oh man, I can't go anywhere honestly without someone talking to me about it. It it gets a lot of hate online, but in person, people love it. Yes. I mean, go nuts over it. To be honest, that's the internet. And uh, yeah, just as we were filming in a mall parking lot, we had about three or four people stop by and yell and give thumbs up and some people stopped and talked <laughs> so, so it's pretty funny this would be a very livable daily driver if you wanted to cook for it yeah for sure for sure it's um and it, it even in a normal suspension it, it gets a little bit softer mm -hmm. too and um it's quiet real it really is, yeah i haven't done much braking but they felt good so far once we get up to this nice windy road. Yeah, the brakes are, uh, you'll notice the difference in braking, but that's again, 25 year old car. Mm -hmm. the, the braking wasn't as powerful back then. So trivia, the, the Supra, the 95, had some of the best braking for years. Mm. I think it was only eclipsed by Carrera GT. So oh, for wow. the stock system, the Supra had a lot of braking power. Okay. It's very easy, uh, I, except for, you know, the tail can get happy if you're punching it in the corner. I mean, it shifts so quick, it's just like a constant power. Yeah. It's just funny. I would never have expected that. I mean, this, this car's fun to floor, it's fun to, fun to turn. back road drive with the Lotuses, were you having trouble keeping up with any of them or not? No, no, it was keeping up well, actually. I think I have more power than them, but they handle a little better. Sure. That okay, stops. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does pretty well. I had it on the racetrack. Oh, really? This year. I had it at Summit Point. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. And uh, Pit Race. Love Summit. Yeah. Both of those are great tracks. It's like gunshot. At high that. RPMs, it does like gunshots, yes. actually. Yes, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Well, this was really interesting to drive. Um, I've, I've been really curious about how these feel. Um, very confidence-inspiring. The engine's great. The transmission is, is probably as good as an automatic gets. Yeah, definitely, I mean, yeah. The sound is good. Um, I would like it to be a little more raw. Yep. That's it's definitely a little more GT mm -hmm. than I want, but I know that's the kind of car it is, but I would love to put stiffer suspension, lower it, and uh, and obviously I love wings, so I put a wing on Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, the wings. Yep. But this has, this. I feel like this car just has so much potential. I mean, it's, it's great out of the box. Don't right. get me wrong. I really like this, but I would love to to put a couple mods on it, make it just a little more rough around the edges, mm -hmm. more raw. That's what I love about the Corvette. It's very raw compared to this. I was going to ask about so. that. So, so you know, high level points. What's the, what's the big difference? What's the takeaway between the two? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, they're similar in speed. The Corvette's a little bit faster, uh, but this also is the auto is super fast shifting in mm -hmm. the Corvette's manual. But the sound of the V8, I love. And then, yeah, it just is a lot rawer feeling of a car. And so what but, would make you get both? I'm well, I, I had the Corvette first for uh, about five years. When it came out, I was like, this car is sharp looking. This was, I, I didn't see it in, per well, I saw it at the auto shows. I didn't buy this because it was a super. I bought it because it was a small, I like small, nimble, lightweight sports cars. And, it um, feels nimble. 
yeah, and I just love the size of this, and I, I like that it had power compared to, like, the 86 and BRZ and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and um, I was like, you know what, this is probably my cup of tea, and uh, so I was like, I just jumped on it, I, I ordered it before it came out, and oh, wow. um, so I didn't drive it before I bought it. <laughs> and you chose what I think is probably the best color for it, it's yeah. understated, it, it, it's not yep it's just a beautiful color I, I bet in the nighttime this thing looks awesome yeah i do love the color and i had to search for it i bought it in ohio because okay. the dealers weren't ordering and they were just getting what they got and um i i i saw it and i loved it and i was like that's what i have to get and um i'm not disappointed i i love it i i thought it would uh get it also to be more of a daily drive sports car because i don't drive the corvette all that often this seems more and normal. um yeah so so that part i'm really happy with and i have over nine thousand miles on it already Good for so you. yeah no so. hey drive your car yeah and i love that you took it out with us when we when we went on the back roads and i want to see you come out with this yep and, yep definitely you know, i love i love that you're out here driving cars you know encouraging people to drive their cars you know that's if, if i had a youtube channel like you it'd all be just <laughs> guys get out there drive the hell out of the things that you love and that you bought Don't yeah. sit around you know you know their engineering marvels and go go put them to use right and um yeah and i again i appreciate you let me drive yours it was for sure it was really good i haven't had a lot of experience with some of these older sports cars yeah. so it's cool yeah. and uh, and this this car itself brings a lot of opportunities because everyone's so curious about it so we do car swap i do car swaps all the time and um definitely check out the channel if you want to see some others but no i appreciate you letting but, me do this you know i hope i had fun I hope i think you had a good time i mean so you ever want to do this again, you know, just let me know. All right, cool, man. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. And uh, guys, uh, definitely check out the last video of, of me driving Alex's MK4 Supra. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next video.